we are going to find a matrix representation of the linear map. So first of all, we need to write down the standard basis for R2. So the standard basis for R2 is the set of two vectors, 1, 0, and 0, 1. Now we, we plug in 1, 0 into the function. One for x, zero for y, we have three. And one for x, zero for y, we have two. And this is going to be equal to a one times one zero plus a two times zero one. Notice that this one zero and zero one is also a basis of the R two. So from here we get a one is equal to 3 and a2 is equal to a1 times 0 plus a2 times 1 is equal to 2 that means a2 is equal to 2 so now we can write 3 and 2 as the uh, Column component of the matrix. We denote the matrix to be A and write this A1, A2 vertically. And, and then we plug in 0, 1 into the second, uh, into the function again. So we get we we get four y four times one. So four and here zero for x, one for y, we got minus five. And this is going to be equal to b one one zero and plus b2 0 1 and b1 is going to be equal to 4 we write that vertically in the second column of the matrix A and over here b1 times 0 is 0 plus b2 times 1 is b2 and b2 has to be equal to minus 5. So we have over here b1 as we just did equal 4 and b2 is equal to minus 5. So it's 4 and minus 5. Notice that from the beginning um, if we are using the standard basis over here let me write down standard. One zero and zero one uh, for both the domain and the the target. Then we can you just uh, write the coordinates of the write the coefficients of the co first coordinate as the first row and the uh, coefficient of the second coordinate uh, as the second row. This is the shortcut. So thanks for watching. Um, please subscribe. Thank you.